Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. Today's video is gonna be me moving the meat chickens out of the barn. They're in that, still in that brooder. They're definitely old enough to come over here into this chicken tractor. Uh, this is the chicken tractor I've, I think I've used it two years now. Might just be one year, I can't remember. Um, but it, it did really well. I like this style of chicken tractor. And this is from, a, I, I got this idea from Al Lumna over at Lumna Acres. Um, it's just built with uh, pickets, fence pickets, um, and then a tarp. And then I've got two different layers of chicken wire around this. And that's because I bought the wrong size of chicken wire. I bought chicken wire that was, the openings were pretty big. So I just wrapped it twice. Um, but let me show you uh, the condition of it right now. So over the winter, we did have it stored right here where you see all that right there. And we actually had some limbs and stuff fall on it. And I'm, I'm assuming that's what ripped all this up the wind and limbs. Uh, it wasn't like this last year, obviously. It was in great condition. So I got Tanya on her way home from work and she's gonna, uh, she stopped at Walmart to buy me a new tarp. But I might, I might actually just see if I can get away with just using this. I don't know, we'll see. And this is that chicken wire I'm talking about. See how the holes are pretty big. So on the sides where it's exposed, I've wrapped it twice. I love this uh, idea that Al Lumna, I don't know if Al came up with it or not, but uh, it's a great idea. Um, you can see that that's the chicken feeder. I don't think he came up with that idea. I can't remember who I got that from, um, but that's just PVC cut in half. And you can see how close that is to the ground. They can easily get to it even at this age. You'll see them here in a minute. They're big enough to get to that. And then I'm gonna put the water on one of these two corners. Um, he says it fits 30 chickens. I've got 26 now. So we did start with 30 Cornish cross meat chickens and I've got I'm pretty sure I got 26 left. I lost two like day one um, Just not healthy probably got trampled. I'm assuming um, Probably the smaller weaker ones and they just got trampled didn't make it past day one and then I've lost two to snakes <laughs> so uh, I've lost two of those to snakes and while I'm doing this I'm gonna show you guys my uh new laying hens I got. I got 30, or I'm sorry, I got 22, 22 new laying hens. And it's a mixture of uh, leggerns, uh, barred rock, I think cinnamon queen, no, B Buff Orpington, and something else. I can't remember the other one. I think the other one's a sapphire, but I'll show you that. And uh, I'm actually using that metal brooder that I purchased last year uh, from Tractor Supply. And that thing, I love it. I know a lot of people don't like it, but it works great for us. It's working really, really, really well. So I think I hear Tanya coming down the driveway from getting off work, so let's go check that out. She's stopping and saying hi to the goats. <laughs> yeah. Say hi to YouTube. What? <laughs> I said say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. You ready to help? Do I look like I'm ready to help? Yeah. No. It's hot and muggy out here. No, no. And the tarp's back there and there's tools back there. Okay, well, I'll meet you at the house. Okay. So, by the way, I don't know if y'all can see that. Still wearing my boot. It's still pretty sore. Um, today is Monday, June. Golly, I don't know. Let me look on my phone. Hold on. Get right back with you. Well, not really. <laughs> she asked if I was missing a shoe because it's in the car. No, because I'm wearing a boot. So today is Monday, June 6th. It's 87 degrees right now. The high is going to be 89. And it is humid. Okay, so Tanya's here. I got her, uh, she's taking all the screws out. So we can just take this tarp off without, we don't need to cut it. We can just take the screws out because I'm going to reuse those to put the new tarp on. So she's doing that. I'm going to lay the new tarp right, to, right there. I'm going to lay it out over here and get it ready to put on top. So each of these screws, they have a washer on them too. Like you can see this one, that washer, you know, that way the screw doesn't go all the way through the top tarp. All right, we're just about done. Tanya's got just a few more to do. And yes, don't think I didn't help her. I, un I undid some of the you screws as well. You did not do well. any of it. <laughs> don't let her lie to you, I did. 
It is uncomfortable with this boot though. Ooh. You can't really Termite. bend down there and do much. All right, so we're gonna put the, the other tarp. I wanna see if I can maybe stretch it into being able to use it twice, like cut it in half, cause it's actually pretty long, but I don't know if we can or not, we'll, we'll see though. Okay, so y'all can probably see that big dip in the wood. So we're gonna flip it over and put a couple of pieces from here across so this uh so that dip is corrected and won't happen again hopefully okay so now it should be easier just to push down on that to get it to straighten up Grandma's getting her exercise out on the farm. She's our muscle around here. That's what I came for. No, I'm not much of a muscle. But... I told her she wouldn't be bored. That's why I wanted to be here. <laughs> Sometimes it's more than two can handle and maybe three can take up some of the slack. Good job, Mike. Perfect. Okay, so we cut the tarp in two. So we'll be able to use this next year if, it, if we have to do the same thing. And this year we've decided to go a little bit off of the wood on the sides just to give it a little bit more ventilation. Because the only ventilation is going to be right here on this side in the front and they like to get up under the covered part right here so there'll be a little bit of gap right here for them to get some extra air okay so we have uh all the sides done we haven't put all the screws in but we've got it in good enough that it's holding it in place for now now we're going to cut right here and then the, the lid itself that opens will be covered with tarp as well. Is it okay if I can't cut a straight line? Yeah, that's fine. That's good. I go do the other side. That's good. Okay, so it's pretty much done. You can see now that they'll get some air this way, through the front, and then through this side. Then they'll also be able to get it through the bottom right there of the tarp. We're gonna go ahead and add a few more screws with washers. That's good, I think. Yeah, it's good enough. Perfect for meat chickens. So we do like the way this is gonna work out for us. Um, we repaired it, looks like it's gonna work fine. Um, we have put it along the barn and we'll go along that barn right there uh, until it starts raining and it does kind of flood down in this area so we'll have to be careful but Tanya's already grabbing them. We might have to stay, make sure she stays in there. One by himself. Lonely chicken.
it in there, though. We got them all in there, got them some water. It's kind of hard to see with the way the sun's angled right now. I got feet in it. All right, yep. But like right now that's too tall for them to reach. Eventually that, that won't even be too tall. They're, they no. get so big. Scoot back just a little bit towards the... There you go. Yeah. We'll close it down and show you guys them eating. They, they just got through eating, so they probably aren't going to be all that hungry. They're not. <laughs> I don't think. That's a good size. It's, uh, they're just not hungry. <laughs> they literally just got through eating. They were tired. They were actually just sleeping. Yeah. Can you turn that around? Okay, y'all. That's, uh, that's our chicken tractor for our meat chickens. It's a pretty easy setup. Um, it was easy to repair. Didn't take much, did it? No. It's it it pretty uh, easy. An R. <laughs> and then uh, all the chickens are in there. This is the first time we've done them over here on this side. We usually do them over here by the goats along that electric fence. Uh, so if something comes around, hopefully they get hit with an electric fence. Um, but we've never seen any kind of issues with this setup. We've never had a predator come near them. We have noticed snakes, but by now these I think chickens. They're gone now. Yeah, these chickens are big enough that the snakes won't try to try to get get them either. So we're about four weeks out right now from butchering these chickens or processing these chickens. Um, we will have to pay attention to them, make sure they're not in too much sun. When we get those hundred degree days, make sure there's plenty of water. That's the main thing. Um, we did have a year where. We watered. We kept our water. First year. We yeah, didn't it was know our we first year, and and the temperature stayed over 105. And I mean, we went out in the morning. All the chickens were doing good. Went out in the evening. Half of them were dead because of just the heat. It was like 108 degrees. Was there was bad. still a little bit of water, but we should have pulled them out of the sun. That was our mistake. Um, They've been in that brooder though. They're gonna want that sun. I think. Yeah, they're gonna want the heat right now. Yeah. Anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Tony, you got anything else? I don't think so. Thanks All right. for joining us. Remember, do the good. At the Feller family farm. Come on.